Welcome to Finished Work International Ministries, a ministry that is on the cutting edge, changing lives around the world. As you let God in today and apply the word, expect a divine encounter and supernatural transformation. It is impossible for you to be defeated when you have the revelation of the will of God. It is impossible for situations to subdue you when you walk in understanding of what God is saying to you. Let the finished work of Jesus determine what you pray. When God is your source, you don't look back. You keep looking forward. You keep trusting. God, I trust you. Here's Apostle Faith Man Obueda. To God, hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. We we'll rejoice and be glad. You're welcome to pray and prophesy to your day. We believe in the power of the spoken word. If you truly want to change situation, if you truly want to move forward, you must learn how to speak God's word over your day. God is not expecting me to complain about a situation. He's expecting me to have to walk in authority. He's expecting me to have dominion over the situation. We are creatures with dominion. The scripture said, if any man be in Christ, is a new creature. This new creature have the nature of the Father, and that empowers him or her to speak the will of God. So all is well. It doesn't matter what is going on right now. You need to operate from this perspective that it is well with you. It is well with you because of what Jesus has done. It is also well with you because you have rights in Christ. It is well with you because the life of God is in you. And this is why it is impossible. It is impossible for any situation to defeat you because it is well with you. It is well with you. This is the kind of perspective that takes your faith to another dimension where you see yourself in a state of victory, in a state of dominion. God is not expecting you to speak from defeat, from worry, from anxiety. It is well with you. When you don't know what to do, trust in what Jesus has done. When it looks like you don't know where to go, trust in what God's word has said. When it looks like there is no way out, trust in the leadership of the Spirit of God. He knows what to change. He knows what He will say to you that will reposition your thinking and bring you to a new dimension of living. And the Spirit of God will have me say this to you. Your best of days are not behind you. Your best of days are ahead of you. It is well with you. Can you prophesy that over your life? Even if it look like there is storm on the left, there is storm on the south, on the east, on every part, on the, on the right hand there is storm. But all I want you to understand is that this storm is subject to the integrity of God's word. All is well with you. All is well with you concerning your dreams, concerning your vision, concerning your calling. All is well with you. You need to begin to see what God has said. You need to begin to believe what God has said. You need to begin to see things from the perspective of his word. His word is good. You know, in Psalm 107 verse 20, he sent forth his word and his word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. His word heals and his word brings supernatural deliverance. So it doesn't matter what is happening right now. You have supernatural victory. And someone said, how do I experience this victory? This is what the scripture said. It, he called it those things that be not. We call those things that be not as though the way we call those things and whatever you're calling in this season is going to come into manifestation. So don't accept the defeat, declare the victory. Don't accept the defeat, declare the victory. And how are we going to declare the victory? By standing on the integrity of the word of God and making the foundation of our confection. And we declare with an expectation that what Jesus said is so, it is true, it is a reality. And that is what God will have you do right now. It is well with you all is well concerning this relationship concerning this job concerning your calling it may look like the finances are not forthcoming but can you see liberty can you see freedom can you see increase can you see the harvest all is well 
That is what to prophesy to yourself right now. It is well with my spirit. It is well with my soul. It is well with my finances. It is well with my vision. It is well with my calling. That should be your thinking. It is well with you. It is not based on how you feel. It is based on what God's word is saying. You know, a lot of people are trying to live from their feeling, but we're expected to live by faith. If you live by your feeling, you will see the limitation. But if you trust God, you will walk in possibilities. If you live by your feeling, you'll be subdued by the things you see, by the situations around you. But when you walk by faith, you see possibilities. You know, I was sharing with some folks, I said, when David saw Goliath, David saw possibility. When Saul saw Goliath, he saw the impossible. But when David saw Goliath, he saw doors open, doors of, of miracles, the doors of signs and wonder. But when Saul saw Goliath, he saw hindrance, limitation, inability and struggle. You see, it is important that we look at things from the perspective of the word of God and not from our human strength. If you look at things from your human ability, you may see limitations. But when you look at things from the word of God, you will see possibility. This is why the scripture said, with God all things are possible. This is the kind of mindset that brings you into a place of strength and influence. The mindset of all things are possible. This is the kind of mindset that sustains your hope this is the mindset that keeps your expectation in the right direction. This is the kind of mindset that empowers your passion to continue in the right direction. All things are possible. It doesn't matter what is going on right now. I have possibility. I see supernatural results. All things are possible. This is the mindset of dominion. And you need to prophesy that to yourself. It is possible with me. It is possible with the vision. It is possible with what God is calling me to do in this season. It is possible with the things that God have anointed me to do. It is possible. Can you see possibility no matter what is going on right now? Maybe you got a letter right now from your attorney and he's telling you there is no possibility concerning the situation. Or you got a letter from your doctor. Maybe he's telling you that with this situation, I don't think you're going to make it. Whatever the letter is, let me say this to you every report that comes from any professional person maybe a negative report that comes from professional people is still subject to the integrity of god's word you shouldn't magnify any report that does not recognize the authority of the word of god you shouldn't magnify any report that does not recognize the integrity of the word of god any report that does not recognize the integrity of the word of God is subject to the ability of God's word. You shouldn't magnify that report. You shouldn't take that report to your heart and say, oh my God, this is the end of my life. This is the end of my vision. This is the end of my destiny. You shouldn't do that to yourself. Walking by faith will always put you in a platform of advantage. And how are we going to do that? We'll do that by believing God's word, by declaring God's word, by standing on the word of God. You know God's word works. I've seen it. I've seen the word of God work miracles, healing, signs, and wonders. This is why I can say to you: All is well. All is well with your children. All is well with your job, with your calling, with your assignment. But whatever God has instructed you to do, all is well. You don't have to be depressed. You don't have to lose your mind. You don't have to do something stupid. You don't have to give up on yourself. You don't have to give up on your life. You don't need to put a full stop on your vision and say, this is the end of the road. This is the end of my dream. This is the end. Just that you had a setback is not the end of your life. Setback does not mean the end of your life. Setback can mean a new beginning. As a setback means a new beginning. This is the kind of perspective that moves you forward in the right strength. A setback should be seen as a new beginning. That if there is a setback, is because there is something new that is about to happen. Something great is about to happen. This has to do with your perspective. That you need to begin to see it in your perspective. That this setback is working for my good. You know when the scripture said all things work together for good. It is going to work together for good for people who believe that with God, there is no limitation. Who believe that with God, I can rise beyond this affliction. I can rise beyond this challenge. I can rise beyond these circumstances and I can win in life. You can get to that point. 
where you believe that with God all things are possible. With God your vision is possible. Your dreams are possible. Your assignment is possible. The things that God has called you to do is possible. With God all things are possible. You should come from a place of strength. You should come from a place of boldness. Knowing that God have your back. That you're not going down with the storm. But you're rising above the storm. You need to prophesy that to yourself. You need to see yourself in the place of hope. Not in the place of hopelessness. You know hopelessness is a decision. Someone can decide not to see hope even if God is talking to them telling them I'm gonna do this for you I'm gonna help you with this area but they can decide not to see hope but you should decide to see hope you should see hope the scripture established in in Job chapter 14 verse 7 in Job 14 verse 7 he said there is a hope of a tree if it be cut down he said there is a hope there is a hope if a tree goes down, it will sprout again. This should be your thinking in this season that you will rise again. I'm rising again. You know, in Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1, he said, Arise. He said, Shine. He said, Arise. He said, Shine. And because it is the word of God, you should take it. Arise. Arise into the will of God. Arise. Arise to a new day. See yourself in a new day. It is time to roll away every grave clothes. It is time to roll away your past experience that is not bringing inspiration to the pursuit of your vision. It is time to roll away every negative experience. You shouldn't take your past into your future because it's going to damage your present. Never take your past into your future because it has a potential to damage your present. And this is what has happened to a lot of people. They stayed in the past, so it became difficult for them to rise to the top. And the Spirit of God will have me say this to you. It is time to believe God's word. It is time to see yourself doing the impossible. God has called us into the realm of power. He called us into a life of power where we can manifest his glory, where we can manifest his unction. And I can say this to you, the presence of the Spirit of God is upon you and nothing can stop you in this season from manifesting the will of God. Let's prophesy. I prophesy that today is going to be a new day for you. A new beginning, a new thing is happening to your vision, to your calling, to your assignment. Le Cambra to Soka Baba, a prophesied mighty manifestation, mighty release, supernatural assistance for your vision. Makuba Pradeske Tolo Pradoske Toli Kambara Baba. All is well with your finances, all is well with your vision, with your job, with your career. All is well. Liko no Bosaka Baba. All is well with the things that God has called you to do. Recumbro no Soka Parindo all is well in the name of Jesus I prophesy a supernatural assistance a supernatural help a supernatural release of the Holy Ghost that will move you to greater heights in the name of Jesus I speak peace into your vision I speak peace into your dream I speak peace into your job in the name of Jesus I command the confusion to cease I speak direction and clarity in the name of Jesus we'll praise the Lord hallelujah because his goodness is upon us in the name of Jesus his goodness is upon our vision upon our assignment I prophesy new opportunities are coming your way this season. New opportunities, preferential treatment, a supernatural encounter that will exceed your expectation. I prophesy that you will not be stranded in this season. I decree in the name of Jesus that your expectation will come into full manifestation. We prophesy mighty reign of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Receive divine strength. Receive strength, energy to unlock greater possibilities in the name of Jesus. Supernatural energy is coming upon you to unlock greater possibilities in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You had the pain on your waist region. You've been healed by the power of God. You can check yourself right now. You had the waist, someone watching me. You had this pain on your waist region. You've been healed by the power of God. You can try to uh, stoop down and try to rise again. Watch yourself. You won't find that pain anymore. You've been healed by the power of God. You're going to hear good news by before Thursday evening. 
there's someone watching me right now before Thursday evening you're going to hear good news concerning that contract concerning that job you're going to hear good news before Thursday evening thank you father receiving the name of Jesus they are sending for you thank you colleague or someone is watching me they're going to give you a call concerning that house and it's going to happen supernaturally in the name of Jesus you're watching the broadcast right now and you're going to have supernatural intervention there's going to be a miracle in your conversation with the owner of that home thank you thank you holy go someone has been believing god you you struggle with your breathing you know the way you breathe sometimes it's like it's stuck on your on your chest and but I, I i release peace i speak healing over you right now you've been healed by the power of god right now you can breathe very well try to take a deep breath and bring it down what yourself is done by the power of god in the name of jesus someone is having some issues or partial hearing on your left ear but you've been healed by the power of god try to get someone by your side to say something to you and you'll feel that you can hear clearly with that ear you've been healed by the power of god in the name of jesus someone has been having some cold, you know, some some cold. You've been shivering, you know, in your body. But the power of God have just healed you. You can remove those those jackets, and you can feel feel you can feel the, the healing power of God resting upon you. You can feel the heat right inside of you right now. You've been healed by the power of God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Someone is watching this broadcast, and they are trying to evict you from where you live. And the Lord starts to say this to you: You are moving into the right place. Ooh, thank you, Holy Ghost. You are moving into the right place. It is done by the spirit of god right now you are moving into the right place there's going to be a supernatural help there are some legal matter i saw in the court someone here you have some legal issue a standing legal issue i hear the lord saying the victory has come the victory has come says the spirit of the lord the victory has come you're going to have supernatural victory on that legal matter says the spirit of the lord supernatural victory your daughter is returning back home says the spirit of the lord that's a word for someone right now your daughter is returning back home something happened and she left home for over close to six months to eight months but the lord said your daughter is returning back home there's going to be some supernatural re re reunion by the power of the spirit of god thank you father Thank you, Father. Someone just got an open door consigning a major deal you have been praying about for the past three years. And as you're watching this broadcast, something new is going to happen concerning that business in the next 43 days. In the next 43 days, exactly, something amazing is going to happen before the next 43 days, and it's going to be an amazing miracle, and you will know the Lord has spoken. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lamb of God. If you're watching this broadcast right now, and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, one of the greatest reasons why I preach the gospel is to bring people to Christ and to let them know the person of Jesus. So if you're watching me, and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you can say this after me. Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth, I believe in my heart, that God has raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Amen. Okay, you can watch me every day on finishworktv.com. Finishwork TV stream 24-7, helping people around the world with the engrafted word of God. And also you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's Faith Man Teachings on YouTube. And you can get a lot of word, a lot of teaching that will help you grow and develop in your walk of faith. You can get my book on Amazon, There is Greatness in You, and further things you need to know about your future. I'm glad you're watching this broadcast. I want to encourage you today to consider partnering with us in the ministry. You know, partnership has helped me to take this gospel to many people around the world, to many cities, to many places. And today, you can be one of those that could help more people to hear the word of God through your partnership. What do partners do? They pray for this ministry and they give as the Spirit of God will lead them. I want to encourage you to consider giving a love gift today. And you can go to finishworktv.com and slash giving. Finish to work TV dot com and slash giving, and you can give from there. Or you can go to PayPal. On PayPal is Fitman Teaching at Gmail dot com. On PayPal is Fitman Teaching at Gmail dot com. Thank you for being part of this live changing broadcast. I encourage you to share the broadcast and to let more people know about this great ministry that Jesus is ministering to people. Thank you for being part of this life changing experience. Until I come your way soon, don't ever forget this. There is greatness in you. Jesus is coming soon.